Hi, this is my uh, new aquaponics system that I built. Um, I still got a lot of work going on. I'm just cycling the system. I got an algae bloom right now because I've been so busy. Need to finish insulating the rest of these tanks. They got brick down there. But uh, this is buried about 18 inches or so. Need to finish insulating around there and around the grow beds all the way down the side. Already got a screen up, so when I open up the side, bugs don't get in. Need to finish insulating back there. And then I need to get a big piece of insulation to put on top here, and that'll keep the sunlight from going down in. I was going to paint these tanks, which is what I probably should have done, but uh, I decided just to uh, not spray spray paint all over them and just put insulation around, just to keep the sunlight out, which is uh, the sunlight and water makes algae pretty much single cell organism. Uh, this filter, or this pump that I bought, 1300 gallon per hour pump, it's supposed to have a UV light in there to kill the algae, so I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe I didn't put the bulb in, who knows. But uh, it goes into a swirl filter. Wait, it's, uh, this here could use some tweaks, probably. Uh, I could put a bunch of uh, filtration in here, like a bunch of sponges or something. So the water, because it gets pumped down, swirls around down there, rises up, comes in here, and in here, I guess I'll open this up real quick. The uh, another part of my biofiltration, a little biofilter, a bunch of bio bulbs in that bag, and then some uh, other filter media, bulkhead fitting all the way through. Some aeration. This is where the fish are going to go. I'm going to get about 35 uh, 12 inch trout here in about two weeks once the system's finished uh, cycling. All this algae handled by then, it'll be completely gone. The grow bed, but no algae growth in there because the sunlight don't get it. But I just covered this here today, and you can see I was trying. You can see back there there was some algae growing because part of it wasn't covered. So, but that'll get cleared up here real quick, and I still got two weeks to finish cycling this system, which takes about a month. I took these out of a smaller system, just kind of threw them in here. I've been so busy. These are, uh, you can see they're really uh, light. They got a lot of uh, lightness in them. So I need to add uh, some chelated iron, which will make these real nice and green. I've just kind of neglected this stuff because I've been busy drilling holes, <laughs> running plumbing. I got more gravel to bring in here for my walkway. It's a 12 by 20 greenhouse. Should be able to grow about 75 heads. Level controlled back there, but I'll have all this algae cleared up in no time. I'll have I'm not going to drill these holes until these plants here are about full grown, and then they'll be spaced out about as far as those are. Um, you know, I'm still missing a couple holes, but uh, and this lettuce don't even look that good right now because I've neglected the system. I've been adding. Uh, gallon of it outside the greenhouse so I'm going to be using. From that, so I'm going to have to add some chelated iron. But there's my wood burner. <clears throat> I am in Ohio, so it does get pretty cold in the winter. I try to keep the water temperature close to 60 if possible uh, without too much work. There's the rest of what I got going on. Been picking bagfuls of uh, tomatoes, and I got a ton of peppers in there. So there's my dog Vandal. All right, uh, check back in a couple weeks for another update. See how the algae bloom turned out.